Chips was priced for $12, but half price day listed for $1,200 and accepted a best offer of $750. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a big profit. Profit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, I am talking to you about the best January bolos. I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody to share their big money bolos. And in doing so, I will feature it in a bolo video just like this. So let's talk about the first one here. And anybody is welcome to share. The Facebook group has over 100,000 members. So come on over, join in. It is a reseller group. We talk about everything with a focus on bolos. So if you're not in it, my link tree is down below. It's free to join, free to share, and get yourself a shout out. So this is a Mattel My Child doll from 1985. Red curly hair, green eyes, movable arms and legs. She said, my eBay store name is Providence. Lane Emporium. I purchased this My Child doll at America's Thrift for $2.99 and I sold it for full asking price of $39.95. It was a global shipping sale. Let's go back to that tush. Let's see what that looked like. She's got a belly button. <laughs> I lost it. She did a good job of showing lots of pictures. There's the tag. And that's what I was looking for. My child. There you go. You guys ever seen that one? Hello, all. Found this at CHKD Thrift in Central Virginia for $6.99. I listed it at first as buy it now. Changed the listing to a one-day auction for $200 and sold it. Store name is Bowles Boutiques. Or Bowles Boutique, sorry. It's a scientific calculator. HP 35S. There you go, guys. 200 bucks. 200 buckaroos. All right. I found this Teletubbies backpack at my favorite Goodwill bins. Paid two to three. Sold for 75 minus three. I'm sorry, 33%. I had a sale going on. Still not bad. Uh, Nettie's Notions is the eBay store. And it's a vintage Teletubbies Poe. I think Poe is the character maybe look how cute it is <laughs> oh my goodness it's a backpack it's a backpack all righty i found this set of empty perfume bottles with box at saint vinnie's i paid three dollars and 49 cents sold for 45 minus 20 percent had a sale going on so they're little perfume bottles but they're empty Harajuku Lovers Fragrance, empty perfume bottles. Look how cute they are. I think one's missing as well. That is so cute. 45 bucks, guys. The Secret Garden pop-up book, Graham Russ, 1995. I want to see this. Oh, look how cute. Oh, my goodness. That is cool. I found a bunch of pop-up books at an estate sale last fall. I was super excited because I recently heard people collect these and some are worth good money. Of course, not all are worth a ton. So I grabbed some that seemed like a good flip. The Secret Garden, when sold in January for $74, she paid $3. This is, oh, she said, hold on a second. Let's go back here. She said, I'm new to YouTube, but I'm trying to get some more serious with posting videos this year. Here's my link. It is Gypsy Jewels, uh, 190. All right, here we go. I am newish to reselling. I started thrifting back in July and haven't listed much of what I have bought so far. However, this item I bought this week after Thanksgiving off Facebook Marketplace for 125. Listed it that same day for 350 and took a best offer of 300 on January 2nd. Buyer was all in for 372 after taxes, fees, and cost of goods. My net was 114. My eBay store is the odd, the odds and oh, odds and <laughs> the odds end shop. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, 
here we go the odds and ends shop all one word <laughs> they told me vintage set of 1990s new qua art 12 days of christmas ornaments susan wing it and this is what they look like they're beautiful check that out pretty pretty the next one says my husband bought a box of nuts bolts and such for eight dollars at an estate sale for himself after putting away the purchased items he was about to throw the box away when he realized it was a vintage beer box he brought it to me to check comps and was pleasantly surprised to find decent comps sold in 19 days for a full asking price of 29.87 pretty good for a box that was about to go to the garbage my shop is randoporium selling all things random so it's a box how do you ship a box do you just ship a box in a box do you just put it in a box do you bubble wrap it do you bubble wrap a box all right here's the next one what the flip did i buy is the ebay store um but it says wtfdi buy um here with one for january i've started keeping an eye out for the end caps at my local goodwills i used to pay no attention because it's generally curated junk but i found some great scores as of late one that i've been selling are the action figures they had a dozen of them priced at 4.99 each some of them were half off i've already sold four so far this month and it's a nice steady stream of pure profit after the first one sold wow he-man 69.99 on this how fun is that? Let's see. I'm looking for a year. I'm wondering if, if it's vintage or if it's newer. I don't see a year. Do you guys see a year? Don't see a year. Huh. Anyway, it looks newer to me. But still, $69.99? Wow, that's great. All right. The next one. Man in the Crescent Moon with Sleeping Baby Lamp Nightlight. Vintage from the 80s Japan. This one also comes from What the Flip Did I Buy? Here with a small money bolo for January. I love finding vintage decor, especially from certain countries. When I flipped this over and I saw 1984 in Japan, I knew I wanted it. Paid $1.99 at the Goodwill and it was an easy list and an easy ship. Took 11 days to sell and got a ton of views. It's difficult to figure out exact sell-through rate on this item, but I feel like the quick sale was due to good use of keywords. $23.99. And it's a little nightlight. How cute is that? All right. This next one says huge lot of 30 vintage horror VHS tapes. Chucky, Pet Cemetery, uh, Freddy, Jason, The Fog. There you go. Bunch of vintage. Uh, oh, well, I think, yeah, vintage VHS. Sold this horror VHS lot for $99. 95 found all of these at the goodwill bins i estimate i paid ten dollars for all of them doing the five dollar media fill a bag thing my bins does wow five dollars for fill a bag um this one comes from north sam 17 ebay store and all one money sold for 99.95 so horror movies bhs some of those um halloween Vintage uh, VHS can go for big money by themselves. So definitely look them up if you see them. But lotting them up is a great idea too. Vintage Boeing Pewter Belt Buckle Aircraft Aviation Limited Edition 1984. I purchased this limited edition Boeing Belt Buckle in January 2020 at the last day of a family run estate sale near my home. The buckle was near the checkout table unpriced. When I inquired about it, the lady said she was surprised there had been so little interest in it and that I could have it for $2. After researching, I started my price at $225 and over time reduced it to $199 and eventually sold it for $179 during a 10% off sale. Glad I held out. My eBay store is quality wear and wares. Oh, let me show you guys a picture of the back here. There you go. Very cool. North Face puffer coat. Um, I've heard some people say that they have problems like with the Vero for North Face. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Maybe that's just for the new ones with tags. I'm not 100% sure. Patagonia North Face. I've heard that. I don't know if it's true. If anybody can verify, let me know in the comments. My daughter gave me her son's North Face coat to sell as he has outgrown it. 
So it was free to me. It was like new. So I started my listing at $79.99. I listed it on one seven and it sold overnight for full asking price. Um, maybe it's just new with tags, items, people that are doing retail arbitrage, or maybe the items that they got the Vero on weren't authentic. That could possibly be, I don't know. But uh, definitely look up Patagonia and North Face because I've heard, you know, rumors or I guess I've seen post. I shouldn't say rumors. I've seen post in the Facebook group about these brands. So look at this. This is absolutely nuts. Luxury Bond Trooper, three graces, leather, 24 karat gold, gilded photo scrapbook album. You guys get out of town on this one. Get out of town. Are you ready? Look, it's a scrapbook. It's a scrapbook. First, Courtney, I have learned so much from you and your Bolo videos and love your whatnot. Oh, thank you so much. If you guys aren't following me on whatnot, I hope you'll come over. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot. Um, she buys from me over there. This is Geek Nurses Treasures on eBay. And so I appreciate the shout out. Thank you. She said, I found this leather album album in the bottom of a pile of bags of papers and binders at local thrift. Just saw the corner of the album, but knew it was leather. So pulled it out. Was surprised. Was a leather three grace, three graces piece to a desk set. I knew something special. So I researched. Was a company from, uh, I don't know how to say this. U-R-U-G-U-A-Y. I'm not even going to try because I'll say it wrong. Now closed who made special leather desk sets for dignitaries. Was priced for $12, but half price day. Listed for $1,200 and accepted a best offer of $750. Geek Nurses Treasures on uh, Etsy, eBay, Posh, and Mercari. And used list perfectly to cross post. So do I. List perfectly is the bestest. Um, I love it. I've been using it since 2019. I do have a video down below that teaches you how to use list perfectly. So check that out. And if you like what you see, you can get 15. What am I talking about? You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. And I've got other referral links down below also. So check those out, you guys. Um, it's me again. I purchased this jade bracelet at a local church sale. Purchased for a dollar. An original box appeared to be a Chinese export jade bracelet. Sold it for a hundred and ten. One dollar into a hundred and ten. Now this this gal knows how to source vintage Chinese jadeite white and green inclusions bangle ice cold original box. Check it out. That's how I describe my jewelry. It's cold, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's cold. Come see me on whatnot, and you'll hear me say that all the time. Um, this one is a, oh, I always say it wrong. Saworski large gold rose brooch with crystal rose detailed leaves. Hi, Courtney found this rose brooch at a thrift store for $2 and 95 cents, sold it on Etsy for 65. And that is not going to show me any other pictures. There we go. Right. There's your little swan. Here is another one from Geek Nurses Treasures. Hi, Courtney. I picked up this mailbox at a thrift store for 12. Usually do not pick up very heavy items. Was over 20 pounds, but could not pass up. So listed as local pickup. Listed for $225 and accepted best offer of $175. Buyer picked up at a local police station. It is a mailbox. How, how crazy is that? Would you have picked up the mailbox or would you have walked right past it? Let me know down in the comments. Purchased this up at a local thrift store for $2.99. Looked old, so looked through the first few pages. The note had a personal note from the original owner to her parents, which was touching. Was first edition. Looked up comps and some sold for about $100. I listed for $110 and accepted an offer of $95. It is Heavenly Destiny, Emma Moody Powell. And there's that. And then, wow, look at that. Look at that. That is an old book. Pretty cool. Something I pass by all the time. Books. An inspiration for folks who consider selling books. I found this set of books at an estate sale for 10. 
I was amazed when I saw the comps. I priced mine a little higher than the others as they were in great condition and received my full buy it now asking price of $524.99. I don't have a shop, but my eBay name is Easy 70s. What? $524.99. The Poem of the Man God, five volume set, Maria Valatora, 1986 to 2001. Hardcover set, rare. What on earth? Wow. Wow. Was that a, um, oh no, never mind. I thought it was like a library thing. Okay, here we go. You ready for the next one? Scottish Terrier Ephemera Lot Red Dog Saloon Scotty Scotty Dog 1980s Scrapbook. How cute is that? Uh, store name, The Dog Patch Picker. Got a binder of material filled with Scottish Terrier related stuff at an estate sale. Paid $48 for my haul that day. The binder, oh, I'm sorry, in the binder was some magazine articles and clippings, pages from an old calendar, and a couple articles about an artist known for her animal sketches. I ran it on auction for $9.93. Final sale price was $52.99. Yes, people collect animal stuff. So anytime you can find animal items, there's probably a buyer out there. It could be long tail or it could sell quick. This one comes from Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. It's an Emilio Roba Fuchsia Orchid Luc Lucita. Oh boy. Palinope. Blah, 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 blah. I can't say that word. You guys, P-A-L-A-E-N-O-P-S-I-S. -E yeah, you figure that one out. Glass resin water bowl. Look how pretty that is. She did a great job with the pictures. Um, I think these types of things are really hard to photograph. There you go. She says, nice story here. My son, son came home from out of state for a short visit during a very few snowy below zero days in the small town that I live in. Nothing to do here when the weather is that bad. There is an antique mall very near my home, so I asked him if he wanted to check it out just to get out of the house since he was leaving the next day. He said, sure. I'm sure because he knows I love to source. I found this bowl there and felt it was a bolo, but I knew he was bored and the price was $20 out of my usual budget. So I set it back and, le and we left. He left the next day. I had the mom blues after dropping him off at the airport. So on the way home, I thought I would go back to the antique mall and just browse. She put winky face since it always makes me feel better. I found that same bowl and thought it was worth a chance since comps look good. Happy to say it sold quickly for $135 and buyer paid shipping. The buyer contacted me and said she tried twice to buy this bowl from other sellers and twice it arrived broken. I replied not to worry. I wrapped mine in small bubble wrap, then large bubble wrap, then four inch layer of recycled memory foam, then in a box that I lined with a second layer of cardboard on an, the interior walls. Proud to say she posted outstanding feedback, a nice ending after all. All right, you guys, the bowl made it safely. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, come over to the Facebook group, share your bolo, and I'll see you on whatnot. Thanks for watching.